When I think of the 90s, especially in terms of sports, no other team represents that decade better than these six-time NBA Finals champions, the Chicago Bulls, who would be led by Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. In 1984, the Chicago Bulls would draft a rookie named Michael Jordan as the third pick in the first round. To celebrate Jordan and a new era for the Bulls, the marketing folks for the team would enlist announcer and disc jockey Tommy Edwards to come up with an introduction song for the Chicago Bulls. Edwards was already a bit of a trailblazer for the team, starting as early as 1977. Generally, the player introductions were kind of an afterthought for a lot of teams, but in 1977, Edwards came up with the idea to turn off all the lights to announce the starting lineup. Prior to the Chicago Bulls using the Alan Parsons Project song Sirius for their team introduction, several other songs were experimented with to introduce Michael Jordan and his teammates, including the Miami Vice theme and Michael Jackson's Thriller. But it would be a trip that Edwards took to a local movie theater that resulted in the now infamous Chicago Bulls intro song. Prior to the movie starting, the theater was playing some ambient music in the background, with Edwards recalling to NBC News in 2019, I told Mary Lou, I know the song, it's Sirius by the Alan Parsons Project project. The more I listen to it, I'm thinking, wait a minute, this could be the Bull song. The following day, he would buy Alan Parsons Project's sixth album and started practicing announcing the players' names at home, with him adding in the same interview, it has so many great parts to its intro, a new guitar part or crescendo, it worked great. The Bulls loved it immediately, Michael loved it, that's been the opening lineup music ever since. As for the song itself, the instrumental track named after the brightest star in the sky would be the album opener for the Alan Parsons Project's sixth studio record, Eye in the Sky. Parsons would tell Variety about writing the song. It actually started fairly late in the proceedings of the making of the album. I wanted to open the album with Eye in the Sky, but it felt like it needed an intro. We had become kind of used to or famous for having instrumental openers. The instrumentals were largely my work. I was just tinkering around at home with my new computer musical instrument, the Fairlight Synthesizer, back in 1982. I came up with this little riff, literally thinking of it as a cool instrumental introduction to Eye in the Sky, certainly not the Bulls theme song. The riff you hear is a combination of a sample of a clavinet, which Stevie Wonder used to great effect on Superstition, and a set of notes to which I added a delay. Part of the sound of the Fairlight sample used in Sirius as a delay upon itself, it's the artificial echo that goes with it that gives it this character. Parsons himself was not a big basketball fan and wasn't aware that the Bulls were using Sirius until some friends informed him about its use. Sports arenas and venues in general have blanket licensing agreements with music publishers and performing rights organizations that allow them to literally play whatever they want. As a result, artists don't really make a lot of money off sporting events playing their music and thus they don't need to be asked for their music to be used. Parsons would admit to Variety he was a bit disappointed that the Bulls organization never called him to get his blessing, but he was also proud of how it was adopted, adding to Variety. It's incredible. I'm so proud of that in this case, especially since the sports theme was the very last thing on my mind when I wrote it. Although they may not know the identity of the artist, it is without a doubt the most played piece of music that I've ever recorded. Soon enough, the song started to extend outside the Chicago Bulls, and it started showing up at weddings, bar mitzvahs, and even high school sports teams using the song. The unbelievably amazing documentary, The Last Dance, which chronicles Michael Jordan's career with the Bulls, did make heavy use of Sirius, and Parsons would admit that that was one of the first times he was paid pretty well for the song, being featured alongside anything having to do with basketball. While he never attended a single Chicago Bulls game, Parsons would admit to Variety that he did meet Michael Jordan once, recalling, There was another documentary about Michael in 2000 called Michael Jordan to the Max, and they used an electronic version of Sirius by another artist as a theme. There was a launch party for the movie in Chicago, and I was there. Michael was surrounded by millions of people looking to shake hands with him and say hi. Our eyes did meet, and I shook his hand and said, Michael, you probably don't know who I am. But I wrote your walk on music and he said, oh, nice to meet you, man. Almost like it hadn't sunk in. That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. And we'll see you again in Rock and Roll Stories. Take care.